The end of 22 felt like the morning after in the Hangover movie, with year-over-year -year total units sold in Massachusetts down 17%, mortgage rates up 100%, peaking just over 7 and median sale prices for the year slightly higher after being up 15% in June. So what are my top four bold predictions in 23? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Hey everyone, I'm Ron Carpenito of the Prime Property Team at Keller Williams Realty. I've crunched the data, read all the reports, and I've conferred with the top experts to confidently share with you my predictions for 23. Will prices crash? That's the big question. Well, all indications point to a very strong no. Simply explained, the job market is too strong. The loans that were made in the past 10 years were done so with much higher qualification standards and everyone has major equity in their homes, so very few foreclosures would even ever happen. But the biggest reason? There's an ultra shortage in housing supply and listings coming to market. Low supply and still very high demand will help keep prices steady and slightly up this year with sellers remaining in control of the market. Now, will that housing supply increase in 23? Slightly, but not so much as I just mentioned, as there won't be many forced home sales due to foreclosure. And over the past three years, many homeowners have refinanced their mortgage, causing people to love their mortgage rate. That's gonna keep them from moving. We are also experiencing a shortage of new construction options for home buyers. A government streamlining of that approval process and reducing permitting costs would help bring builders back to the table and get that building going again. Now, one possible silver lining to increase inventory in Massachusetts is that we are one of the top five states experiencing the greatest emigration to other states as people flee our high tax rates for lower tax states. Now, what will interest rates be doing in 23? Well, we are already seeing a cooling and leveling of the rate down to the lower sixes and mid fives, depending on the borrower's lending profile. Now, this should continue during the year. And as rates drop and stabilize, this is gonna further increase demand for homes. How will inflation factor into all this? Well, currently inflation is still too high and will likely remain above desired levels for 23. But the Fed has been diligent with their rate increases and tone, which will continue at a slower pace to prevent a major recession. Now, in conclusion, we've been traveling at 100 miles an hour on a highway rated to go only 55 for over the past three years. And this year, we'll confidently be cruising at 70. 23 will be a year of fewer home sales, a stabilizing of interest rates and prices, with slightly more inventory available. Sellers in most locations will remain in the driver's seat with a properly priced and conditioned home receiving multiple offers quickly. And if we can help you in a home sale or a home purchase or even an investment opportunity, put our almost 20 years of experience and relationships to work for you. Please give us a call today. We'd love to help.